Next, we want to investigate the predictions of loss aversion for this setting, for the optimum level of effort provision. Before we can apply the concept of loss aversion, we have to understand how we can take care of uncertain payments as reference points. So when we introduced loss aversion, we were thinking about deterministic reference points. When you have a deterministic reference point R and receive a payment of X, your utility is given by X. And if you are better off than your reference point, which means if X is larger than R, you get an additional utility of eta times X minus R. And if you are worse off than your reference point, which means R is larger than X, then you uh, have a negative psychological utility uh, of the amount of eta times lambda times the difference between your reference point and your actual payment. However, in this setting with the uh, effort provision, we do not know what the outcome or what the reference point will be. We can have either the fixed payment or we can have a piece rate. So we don't know what to compare our outcome to in advance. So let us now look at how this can be incorporated into the utility function. Here, the utility function depends on the payment X, which you receive, and your reference points R1 and R2. So when you receive X, you have utility of X, and with probability P1, which denotes the probability with which you expected that the payment R1, you will compare the actual payment X to the payment R1. Again, if you are better off than R1, which means if X is larger than R1, you will derive an additional utility of eta times X minus R1. Instead, if R1 is larger than X, so you get less than you expected, the payment or the utility is given by, the psychological utility is given by me minus eta times lambda times R1 minus X. With the probability one minus P1, you expected the outcome to be R2. So in this case, we have the same idea. You compare the actual outcome with R2 just with the probability one minus P1. Okay, so if your reference point is not deterministic, but maybe stochastic, you have to anticipate the comparison. So when you're writing down your utility function, you include with which probability you expected a certain outcome. So in this case, you're expected the payment to be R1 with probability P1, and you expected the payment to be R2 with probability one minus P1. The rest is just the same as in the setting with a deterministic reference point. 